Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. In the last episode, bloody hell, that gamer, gambler, <laughs> trainer. God. I swear that guy's just in here, just in case people want to do a Nuzlocke run. I was thinking about doing one, but then I thought, well, you can see all the Pokemon anyway, so it wouldn't really be interesting enough. So, catching all the Pokemon I can is probably the better option. Diglett's Cave! So, obviously, we can get Diglett here course. There's a Diglett immediately. So we'll get Diglett. Alright, Diglett. Ground type Pokemon. Very fast. Uh, pretty decent actually. Right, we don't need Great Balls, I think, for Diglett. We could probably Pokeball it and do alright. Yeah, it's yellow. Yellow's fine. There we go. Great throw with a Pokeball. Two. Three. No! Oh, didn't get it. Okay. It's only level 15, so it's pretty weak. As Diglets go in Diglet Cave. <clears throat> one, two, nope. Okay, this one's being a pain in the ass. Let's go again. We're getting better at that, uh, at the old throwing arm. Three. Damn it! Get in the ball, you bloody mole! Here you go, another great. It's a good thing I've got a decent, a good amount of Pokeballs, isn't it? God damn it! Bloody Diglett, man! Stop it! Just get in the ball! One, two, you're yellow, mate! Get in the ball! Do it! You Diglett! Bastard! Another great! God damn it! Diglett, come on! Come on! There you go! Finally! What a bust! What an asshole! We have caught an arsehole. There you go. Experience you have one. Oh, by the way, I put, um, I got rid of James Eaton. I put uh, Abra in, just so I thought I'd train up Abra at the same time as Beast. Uh, with the lovely name of Sir Stash, because just got to flash the stash with that guy. But we have got ourselves a new Pokemon, which is Diglett. It prefers dark places. It spends most of its time underground, though it may pop in caves. For example, Diglett's Cave. A specific cave for Diglett. Alright, mate. This path is closed because Diglett uh, dug too many holes. While we're filling in the holes, why don't you challenge the Vermillion City Gym? Uh, why don't I just, like... Oh, Dug Trio! That's more like it. That is more like it. Don't even need to trade up Diglett if I get this. Level 16 Dug Trio. I'm going to need a Great Ball this, aren't I? I am going to need the Great Ball Dug Trio. And I'm probably going to use a raspberry as well. We've got a decent amount of raspberries, so you know we can we can afford to uh, use one of them to catch something like Dugtrio with an excellent throw. One, two, three. There we go. That was easier. Most because I did use a raspberry and a uh, great ball on that. But lovely experience. Everyone apart from Jehovah levels up. Beast is up level 17. Very nice. A Stash is up to level 17. Pudge is up level 22. Callie's up level 22. And Snoop's at 22. And Snoop wants to learn Takedown. No. I'm d I am don't mind it on Geodude, but not on Snoop. I think Headbutt's probably better. And Sir Stash has already evolved. So there you go. That was quick. We didn't really need to do much with Sir Stash, did we? But Sir Stash is going to evolve and actually get something of his namesake. He now has a stash. It's Kadabra. It is Kadabra. Now, here's the problem I'm facing here, which is four, four Pokemon in Generation 1 need to be traded to evolve. Those being Haunter, Kadabra, Machoke, and Graveler. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that just yet, but I guess we'll find out. Many odd things happen if this Pokemon is close by. For example, it makes clocks run backward. So it's just like a... It's got Kinesis, which is not the best. Psybeam, though, on the other hand, is a decent move to kick off with. And we have caught Dugtrio as well. A team of triplets that can burrow to a depth of 60 miles. It's reported that this triggers an earthquake. We've got ourselves a Dugtrio, which means we do not need Diglett. So it's going to make me feel so happy, since that Diglett was an absolute ass to try and catch, to uh, send it to the Professor. Sod you, Diglett. Go away. Thank you, my boy. Yes, we've got a reward of another quick candy. Nice. 
Nice indeed. I've sent in four Pokemon so far. So Dugtrio is all sorted. Uh, for the moment, so is Sustash. So I don't really need to evolve him. Uh, I, well, not yet either. Drow do I go Drowsy? Because Drowsy's at a pretty good level. Or do I go back to uh, James Eater? Hmm. Where the bloody hell is James Eater? Oh, there he is. There he is. Do I go James Eater here? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. No, I don't want to send him. Bloody hell. Do not want to send him. But I will add him to the party and replace the stash. And we'll move Sir Stash as well. We'll move him about. So we'll move him down here. There we go. There you go. We got ourselves a Kadabra. That's very nice. And Dugtrio and Diglett. All is well with us. There's nothing else, I think, here. I'm fairly certain. <clears throat> At least for the moment. Maybe there's, like, something. Maybe, like, a Rhyhorn or something like that. I don't know. That would be my guess. Well, I'll be... Did you know this huge long tunnel was entirely dug, uh, dug entirely by Diggler? Well, good for you. Cheers. Cheers for that redundant information. Anyway, we'll move on here. So we've got two new Pokemon to add to the list. Which now puts us on a lovely... Uh, three Pokemon actually to add to the list. Love, puts us on 39. So now we're over a quarter of the way there. We've actually caught 31 Pokemon. So we're 19 away from getting Charmander. 29 away from getting Squirtle, so that's nice, I guess. Right, time for a bit of a break from that, and go on the SSN. Welcome to the SSN, but not so fast. Do you have a ticket, young fellow? I flash my SS ticket to the man, see here, mate. Yup, that'll do, welcome aboard the SSN. Oh, and that's not all. You're the 100th guest to join us aboard the SSN today. So here you go. Enjoy this breezy outfit as you feel the salty air on your skin. We've got a sailor set from the crew member. Yay. Essentially, it's clothing. we got more clothes. I'm hoping these are new. But yes, we can also sort of change, like, our sort of wear. So we can have, like, a sailor cap if we want to. The sailor top's actually quite cool, so I'll, I'll change that. The pants? No. No, we'll keep these. The shoes? Nah. The bag. We get a sailor bag. Oh wow, really? <laughs> no, no, not 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 an inner ring. But uh, then we got Cali. Little sailor cap on Cali. Uh, I think I'll keep it with a sports cap for the moment. We can also get like sports clothes. It's got like a little sailor tee <laughs> on Cali. Nah, we'll just we'll 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 have Cali just have a hat. Remember, Callie's, at, Callie's getting just a hat. Just a hat for Callie. But now we'll move on to the SSN. Big ass ship. Look at that. Certainly a lot bigger than what it was in previous Pokemon games. Oh, hey, big head dude. Oh, there you are, Mastrath. Thanks again for the ticket. The ship is huge and it's full of trainers. Bonjour! You mean Master Adam, big head dude? Oh, you're right, prick. Didn't think I'd get to see the two of you here. Hey, Blue. Are you taking a cruise? Not hardly. I got invited to the exclusive party for trainers. But I'm pretty much done with this scene. I got plenty of party favorites, too. Here, I'll even share one with you. A shallow, a, a shallow sable? More importantly, though... You want to know what I overheard at the party? You guys know about Team Rocket, right? Yeah, I battled them before. Seriously? You must be something... Or you must be fearless or something, kid. Anyway, the point is, Team Rocket is a dangerous group. And they're trying to use Pokemon to make themselves rich. I might do some digging into what it is they're really after. And you two better stay out of their path. Ah, Pitter's Fruit who can't walk where his music. Indeed. Well, Team Rocket, huh? Mastrath, if you get tangled up with those jerks again, you should call me. Don't have your number. Sorry, mate. All right, buddy. Passengers are restless after being out uh, to sea so long. I might get challenged by bat to battle by some of the really bored ones. Cheers for that. 
So let's go into these rooms. So essentially, this is just train a training mission now, really, isn't it? Shh. An agent for an international police. They're on the trail of Team Rocket. They're up to nothing good. Well, I'll uh, leave you to it, my friend. I will leave you to it. Right. Let's open here. When really it's actually us that will take them down. Ah, Pokemon battles. Lovely. I collected these Pokemon from all around the world. They better be something I haven't seen before. Because if I've seen them, you really haven't gone far. Nikki. We've got... <laughs> of course you have. Of course you have. Oh, I've... Oh, I've collected these Pokemon from all around the world. Jeez, my struggle to get these Pokemon from all around the world. And it's just something you can get in, like, most... In, on most routes. Oh, bloody Pidgey. And a Pikachu. Well, okay. Well, I've got one of those as well. So, that, it's not that amazing. I'm going to be honest. Let's dig. Oh, it's actually... It was double kicking me. Well, that's fine. Jehovah can deal with that. Not incredibly well. It's still super effective, but you can deal with it pretty well. You absolute git. Don't you dare. Don't you dare miss. Thank you. Jehovah is really reliable. Look, I mean, Jehovah's got like a like a history now. He's got lore of like how reliable he is. Anyway, level 15 for James Eater right there. That's pretty good. And Nikki's defeated. You went around the world for those. You could have just went to Viridian Forest and got both. Dummy. You probably just went to Viridian Forest, didn't you? That's all you did. Anyway, next trainer defeat. I love Pokemon, do you? No, do you know what? I despise them. Digimon's so much better. Why the hell would you say that, you dumbass Tyler? Oh god, he's got a monkey. Oh, he's got a monkey. So we get to find Mankey at the moment. I have I have realized that. I thought I would have had a Mankey by now, but I haven't got a Mankey yet, so eh. But I'll uh oh. Oh, he's, he's just going for Fury Swipes alert. That's all he's going for, he's just going for Fury Swipes. Ah, hammers and now drills! Cheers, neighbors. Bastards. Uh, anyway, there goes Mankey with a wing attack, so yeah, pretty easy. Pretty simple. Can't wait to get one though. There'll be another one to add to the collection. Tyler's defeated. I am great. Indeed I am. Also, it's nice to get a stockpile of Pokeballs from beating all these trainers, so... There you go. Paral I did all that for a bleeding Paralyze Seal. Are you kidding me? This area sucks. Everything sucks! Awful. Ugh. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Wiggly Tuff's turned up there. World Cruise is so elegant and nice. Good for you. I always travel with Wiggly Tuff. I never leave home without it. You poor bastard. Right, let's move on then. Nothing in that area that's uh, of any use to us. Waiter, yes you. I need a slice of cake. Finest custard cake you have. What on your cherry pie you wanted? Eh? No cherry pie, no custard cake either. I'm just gonna have to use this cherry. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to um, eat this cherry pie myself. That's what I was expecting. No, none of that. You look tired. Would you like to take a short rest? Ah, this is technically essentially our room, I guess. You could say. So there you go. I'm sorry for fussing over you. It's just because you look like my little brother. Everyone looks the same, apparently. In this, I certainly do not look like Big Head, do do I? No, I don't. Moving on. Hmm. Hello. You were slug pup. How dare you barge in? Well, I got free range here, mate. Apologies. Now I'm gonna beat your team. Arthur, you've got yourself grat well. I chose this pretty well, didn't I? <laughs> Jehovah. Oh nice no, like I probably remember like most of the Pokemon that each of these people have got at this point. Let's be honest. I'm just gonna rock for it. Sod digging. I'm just gonna rock for it. Don't burn me, please. Good. Oh! Less good. Fine, I will dig then. Dig at least got 100% accuracy. Yep, dig's got 100 accuracy, so I should have I should have gone for dig from the get-go. No, well, it doesn't matter. Your Growlithe is now dead. No, can't survive a dig. Can't survive a dig. Dummy. 
nice experience there. Level 22 for Jehovah. All is nice. And we defeat Arthur. Hm. You rude child. You've no sense of courtesy. What do you, mate? Oh, I no, you don't either. Piss off. My Pidgeotto will come peck your face in a minute. Pidgeotto, peck his face. Go on. Sorry, Pudge, peck his face. Staying in bed, doing nothing during my much-awaited cruise trip. Ah, what a luxury. You boring bastard. Why is it with everyone here? Like, most of them are bloody boring. <laughs> Crap. They're awful. Right, right, more areas to research and look. Oh, bloody hell. You right, mate? My partner Machoke is super strong. He has enough strength even to shove rocks out of the way as if they were nothing. What you're essentially saying is your Machoke has learnt the move Strength. Fair enough. Strength's a decent move, actually. It's one of those HMs that's not useless. You know what they say about sailors. We're all itching for a fight after ages at sea. Okay. I didn't know they had that sort of mentality, Leonard. Did not know you had that sort of mentality. Slowpoke. Well... Jehovah really can't do anything against a Slowpoke. I mean, I, I could, I could, but I'm not going to risk it. Slowpokes are, are special attackers, and pretty bulky, and they're water types, and no. Let's see what move it would have chosen. Probably a water type move. Yep. And that would have killed Jehovah right off the bat. Sure, Snoop is not much better. Because of confusion. But you can survive it. No confusion for me. And Vine Whip to finish it off. There we go. Goodbye, Slowpoke. Can't wait to get out of Slowpoke, actually. Slowpoke Slow is a decent Pokemon, actually. You might, people could sort of pick and choose. Do they go for Slowpoke? Or do they go for Slowbro or Starmie? When it comes to a Water Psychic type. I'd pick Starmie, personally. Just because it's overall just a bit more useful. But if you want a bulkier Water Psychic type, Slowpoke's pretty good. Anyway, we'll take out this full heal right here. This guy probably wants to challenge us. Yes, he does. Of course he does. I like feisty kids like you. Please keep that to yourself in future. That's incredibly creepy, Dylan. You've got Magnemite. Well, that's dying immediately, isn't it? That is dying immediately. Jehovah! Back out. Jehovah's getting a lot of experience here. Get a lot of training here, I've noticed. Let's have a random look at the ceiling. Why not? But yeah, Jehovah's getting a... a Jehovah's actually pretty good against a lot of Pokemon here. Especially Magnemite. Because it's steel and electric type, so it's four times weak to ground. Goodbye, Magnemite. Let me guess, your next Pokemon's Voltorb, right? Oh, it's another Magnemite. Okay. It was either Magnemite or Voltorb, let's be honest. He's an electrician. He's not going to have, like, a Pikachu... Or even an Electabuzz. Electabuzz would have been interesting. But no, just got boring, bloody Magnemites. I'd even taken Magneton. If you had one of them. Maybe it's a bit too early to get Magneton. Ah, oh, well, anyway, still. Doesn't matter. You Ash caught Pidgeotto first, so, you know. Oh, I lost it. Indeed you did. You gave me three Pokeballs for that. That face is bad. Got bad face. Elixir! That's pretty good. That is pretty nice. That is pretty nice indeed. Alright. Nice. Next area, we got another sailor here. Even sailors have Pokemon. Yes, I'm aware of that. I have fought a lot of you already. I'm taking out your entire fleet, Huey. Hang on a minute, ain't you the guy at the Olivine Lighthouse? His name was Huey as well, weren't he? You can get his number, I think. Something like that. Can't wait for Bugcatcher Wade to make a return. What do you send out? Psyduck, right? <sighs> I really don't want to bring in Snoop, because I know he's going to confusion it, but Snoop's going to have to do. I mean, he's going to go for a water-type attack first, so I guess we've got that going for me. Because of prediction. Solid prediction. But I now know he's going to get a confusion off. And that's going to suck for Snoop. Yep. 
like I'm the Nostradamus, isn't it? It's not, because it's predictable. It's predictable! And honestly, it's predictable because it's the best play you can make, so yeah. I understand, fair enough. Still predictable though. No level ups. Poliwag! Alright, that's something I can that's something I can deal with. I can deal with polywags. Poliwag's a base water type Pokemon. They don't really I think have anything that can Okay. <laughs> he's got hypnosis, so he's a dick. No, Snoop! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Hound! Uh, yes! Snoop! Nice job, Snoop! I mean, what? You took, like, maybe a little bit of damage? And then he just got right back up and whipped him in the face. Shame it went a power whip. <laughs> nice to see, like, Poliwag just go, like, poof! Right out the window! That would've been fun. Anyway, Super Potion. Yay, Super Potion. Alright, how many have we got to go? One! I might as well do this, and then we'll go for a break, I think. I think it's just a fisherman. Yeah, it is. Hello, stranger! Can't tell if you're from the seas or mountains, but stop and chat. All my Pokemon are from the sea. So I've chosen poorly again, because I've put Bleeding Jehovah up front! Barney! He's got two Pokemon. One is Golding. Would Goldeen have a water move at this point? That's what I'm thinking. I may be taking a massive risk by keeping Jehovah out. Ooh, horn attack. Was I correct? Or did he try and overpredict me? <clears throat> All right, Jehovah. Can you increase your law some more here? Come on, Jehovah. Ah, okay. Damn. Right. Horn attack. It seems like he's got nothing but horn attack. Which is interesting, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't have any water type moves. Alright, I was I was good to keep Jehovah in here. What's your next Pokemon? Horsey. Right, that thing will definitely have water moves. So I'm switching out. I'm gonna bring in James Eater. Sod it. Let's give James Eater a go. <clears throat> See how well James Eater's gonna do. Come on, James Eater! You've got this! Because he eats James for breakfast! Level 18 versus level 15, so I am a lot weaker than Horsey. It's got Bubble Beam, which does... Oh god, that's too much damage. That's more damage, though! I can survive another Bubble Beam. Smokescreen. Alright. Please hit this. Come on, James Eater. You can hit this! Yes! And James Eater beats Horsey. Three levels higher than it. Fair play to you, James Eater. And we defeat Barney. Yes, you did let that one get away. Indeed, you did. Why have you all got weird faces? All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go heal up back in the room. Uh, so I'll see you back at my room. And go for a break here. But the next episode, let's play Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. We're going to be uh, carrying on through the SSN. There's a lovely dugong picture on the left there as well. Anyway, I will see you then.